Hi, I'm Steve Heckroth, and I'm going to show you how the CET works. When you get on the tractor, she's always fastened the seat belt. And then release the emergency brake. Then turn on the key, you'll see the lights light up. Check your gears, low, medium, neutral, and high. Then there's the RPM switch on the dash, which shows slow speed is turtle. And you'll use the hand throttle to go very slow speeds out in the field. And you can switch to medium for either field or road speed, but you use the hand throttle or the foot throttle. And then there's rabbit high speed for moving the tractor from place to place or going on the road. Forward neutral reverse switch. Always start in neutral, switch into reverse for going backwards, neutral and then into forward for going forward. The three point hitch. You'll need to switch on the hydraulic switch and then use the levers pushing forward to go down and pulling back to lift up. The PTO, first remove the cover, then turn on the hydraulic clutch, then push forward the PTO lever, and the PTO will turn. Brakes, push them together to stop the tractor, and you can push them individually to help with steering. The differential lock it locks both rear wheels together so that neither will spin individually. Use the turn indicator to let people know which way you're going to turn. And always have the emergency flasher on when you're on the road. The brake light lights up when you step on the brakes to let people behind you know that you're slowing down and use the headlights at night so you can see where you're going. The battery pack is under the hood. The 12 volt pack is the small pack in front. The main pack is the large pack and the main pack switch that's off and that's on. The charger plug is located on top of the tractor and cover should always be on when the charger is not in use. The charger fan will come on so that you know that it is working. Thanks for watching. Hope you join us in the future of farming.